that you enjoyed this book. And let's go ahead and jump into our second part of the lesson where I will model how to describe how authors use reason to support specific points so that when you do this yourself on Wednesday, you will know exactly what to do, okay? So remember our focus question is how did Ruby Bridges make a difference in the world? So keep that in your mind. And remember the objective, what we are learning today is to describe how authors use reasons to support specific points. Remember that a key point is the main idea an author shares about the topic and that they use reasons, examples, and facts in order to support or provide proof or evidence for that point, okay? So I'm going to tell you the four steps that will help you describe how authors use reasons to support their key point, okay? So our step number one is what is the topic? Step number two, what are the key points? Step number three, find details that support each key point. And step number four, how do the details help you understand the point? Okay, the details can either be reasons, examples, or facts. Say reasons, examples, or facts. Very good. A reason tells why the key point is true. An example tells one way you can see the point in real life, and a fact gives a piece of information about the key point. So I'm going to go ahead and model this for you now so you know exactly what to do on Wednesday. All right, here I am in the corner. See me? This is cool. Okay, so this is the handout that we would be doing in class if we were together at school. And remember, the key point is the most important idea the author wants to share with you. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you that the key point of this book, the story of Ruby Bridges, is that Ruby Bridges has made a difference in the world. Okay, say that to yourself. You can either whisper it in your hand or tell someone at home. Say the key point of the story is that Ruby Bridges has made a difference in the world. And remember, details are pieces of information in the book, okay, that support the main idea or the key point. So, since I'm modeling these steps for you, I went ahead and picked three details from the story. And I'm going to show you how I use these details to support the key point that Ruby Bridges has made a difference in the world. Okay, so the first detail that I found that supports the key point that Ruby Bridges has made a difference in the world is that in 1960, a judge ordered four black girls to go to two white elementary schools. Ruby was sent to William Franz, okay? This is the page where I found that information. You probably remember reading it. So the judge sent Ruby Bridges to William Franz School. How does that help me understand how Ruby Bridges made a difference in the world? Is it a fact, an example, or a reason? Well, this is a fact. It is true information, okay? And it helps me understand how Ruby made a difference. Remember, that's the key point. By being one of the first, excuse my handwriting, right, really small black children to go to a white school, okay? So in 1960, a judge ordered four black girls to go to two white elementary schools. Ruby was sent to William Franz. That is a fact. 
and it is a detail that supports the key point because it helps me understand how Ruby and Adif the first black children to go to a white school. Let's look at our second detail, okay? The second detail I picked was that every day Ruby went to the classroom with a big smile on her face, ready to learn. Okay, so this is where I got this detail. No matter how hard it was for Ruby to get to school, no matter how many people yelled at her, she still had a smile on her face and she really didn't give up even when things were hard, okay? So first things first, is this detail an example, a fact, or a reason? This is an example, okay? Because it tells one way I can see this key point in real life and it helps me understand how Ruby made a difference, again, tying it to that key point. By inspiring others. And what did she inspire others to do? Do not give up. Even when things were hard. All right. So this was an example and it supported the key point because it helps me understand how Ruby made a difference by inspiring others to not give up, okay? My third detail that I picked that I think supports or provides evidence for the key point that Ruby Bridges has made a difference in the world, okay, is this right here. Every morning, Ruby prayed for the people that hated her. I got that from this page, okay? Every morning, Ruby had stopped a few blocks away from school to say a prayer for the people who hated her. Okay, so how does this detail help me understand how she's made a difference? Well, it is an example because it tells me one way I can see the key point in real life and it helps me understand because remember that's what we're always focused on is how a detail helps us understand something how Ruby made a difference by teaching others to love and forgive their enemies. All right, so what exactly did Ms. Foster do today? What, what is this? This is a lot. What in the world are we doing? Well, remember that good readers describe how authors sort their points to better understand the important ideas in the text, okay? And the important idea in the text today was that Ruby Bridges has made a difference in the world, and I needed to find three details that supported or provided evidence for this main key point and idea. And I explained how these details help understand how Ruby made a difference in the world, okay? So thank you friends for watching both videos today. I know that it was a lot. Um, however, I know you're gonna be so ready on Wednesday to do this on your own um, and with my support, of course. So thank you for watching and have a great day.